Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Blaine Smith and today I'm going to be discussing about how you can make this little neat recipe called microwavable fudge or they're known as the two ingredient fudge. Now for this recipe of course I got my ingredients right here which you're going to need for this recipe are a 11 ounce or it could be 12 ounce jar of cake frosting. Specifically, I'm using vanilla sugar free for this one um, and a 11 ounce jar of peanut butter. Now for this recipe, I use both sugar free frosting and sugar free peanut butter for this recipe. And so it's gonna be a one to one ratio, 11 ounce jar of peanut butter, 11 ounce jar of frosting. And now we are going to talk about what you're gonna need, such as, you know, silverware for this video. Now, for this video, you're going to need two microwavable safe bowls right here. Um, and you're also gonna need a rubber spatula, a bowl to mix this in, to stir it in, and a baking pan lined with non-stick parchment paper. Now that we got all our stuff out of the way, such as ingredients and silverware, we're now going to begin the recipe. Starting off, we are going to take our peanut butter right here. I got my spoon right here, take it like this. I'm gonna scoop in this peanut butter. Got a little stuff that's stuck at the bottom here. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I had some stuck in my fingers there a second. Alright, I have peanut butter in here like this. Give it a good shake, you know, we're gonna have it like that to kind of even out a little bit. Next, put in our frosting. For this, I'm using my you know, secondary spoon right here for this. Yes. So oh, this frosting is very sticky. Also, please note that I'm going to be the one mainly eating this. I've got, got a little stuff at the bottom there. Yes, now I have it right here. Nice and easy out right there. I'm going to now. Microwave each one of these individually for 30 seconds to a minute on reheat. So now, go over here like this, take my peanut butter like this. Sit my peanut butter in the microwave now for 30 seconds to a minute on reheat. Now that that's going for 30 seconds, my icing kind of even down a little bit. Now, after this, I will be adding both the frosting and the peanut butter 
to the mixing bowl here. Let me show you all this. To the mixing bowl right here. And we're going to be stirring it until it's one solid color. And so after it's one solid color, we'll be moving into this baking sheet right here on the parchment paper. So let's see. We've done yet. Oh crap. I let it run for about, we know for about 45 seconds to get that nice peanut butter feel to it. Boom, there we go. Also, be careful with this stuff. This stuff is very hot. Now for our frosting. So now, see I got my peanut butter right here. I'm going to pour in my peanut butter. Use my spatula as a guide for this. Get the extra peanut butter out. There you go. See? Make sure to attach your spatula to you have take out any extra peanut butter that's at the bottom. Now that that's good right there, the peanut butter, come back over here. We're going to watch you now. Well, it's got a little bit longer left on it. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to take the rest out. Because there might be just a tiny bit extra. for a cake frosting. Ah, oh, there she is. See how she's nice and melted, fluffy? Think like this. I'm going to pour in now. See how it got right there? I'm pour it in. Now, take this and you'll just mix it in right there. See my spatula right here? Go like this. See how I'm going to start in like this? See how it's starting to kind of blend in there? We're going to do this until it's a nice blending in color. Nice one solid color. As you can see now, it's starting to blend in real nicely. And this stuff smells delicious, by the way. If I had any kids, I'd be serving this to my kids right now, probably. You know, a nice little Saturday night, you know, treat for my kids. See, now it's a nice one salt color. Now, take my baking tray right here. That's all I was on stick on the paper. We're going to pour it in now. Gotta be careful, this is very hot. And now, there might be a little bit, you know, a tiny bit extra at the bottom. You don't have to worry, probably worry about that. That's not really gonna be taking out. As long as you have your tray full right here, take our tray like this. Now we're going to stick it in the fridge. <clears throat> Take my fudge like this now. Now we're going to let our peanut butter sit for a total of one to four hours. I could also leave it out here on the counter if I, if, you know, if I want it to, if I want soft fudge. Now, for, I since I want the very hard kind of fudge, I'm gonna let that freeze for about an hour or two, you know, one to four hours. After that, we're gonna take it out, take our, my nice, you know, knife. We're gonna cut that into squares. After we cut into squares, it'll be ready for consumption. And after that, you know, we can enjoy. I hope this helps.
Thank you for joining me.